What's up everybody, it's Aaron from Maverick CNC here. Um, today I just want to show you how I do my ramp test on the laser to find the focal distance. Um, typically, you know, we need to measure the distance from the, the end of our nozzle down to our focal point or down to our workpiece to make sure we're cutting or engraving where we want to be. Um, so in my little graphic here, this top here, this is our own focused beam that comes off of our mirror three at the top, hits our lens and converges down to a point and then diverges again. Um, th this divergence down here, I mean, the beam doesn't just stop when it hits your material. Um, if you're cutting right through, that's why you'll get, you'll get burning from debris on the bottom here of your bed. Um, anyway, so what I do is I just set up a, a little ramp like this, just a piece of MDF. I like to use MDF. Um, then I don't have to worry about the grain affecting what I'm seeing or where I'm trying to measure. So, and when, when you, you know, we're just going to run a line and when you run that, what happens is the contact surface of this, you know, it starts wide, it gets narrow, it starts wide again. If we just watch my little cheesy animation here, right? So you'll see where it contacts the surface, it's wide at the far points, and it's going to get narrow to that center point. Now what happens is you get a burn mark on your surface that looks just like this. It looks pretty much the same shape as, as your, your beam where it converges and diverges. Um, and what you'll see is, you know, in the, in the center here, th this is the spot that you kind of want to try to measure. So I'll just let this run one back one more time. And so then what we want to do, once we're, we're done running our line, we want to bring the laser head back to the center, back to where we determine this, this tiny little line is at or the most focus point. Then we want to measure this distance in here. Um, once you measure that, you can make any kind of a gauge, something that allows you to, to do repeatability. So I'm just going to jump over to the laser now and I'm going to show you guys what my setup looks like. This is pretty, pretty simple. I've already done a couple on here. Um, this, this is what the lines are going to end up looking like. And what we want to do is we want to measure that center spot there. I'll flip this over. I'll set this up one more time. What I like to do, I like to start with my nozzle just a couple millimeters above the ramp. Um, this gives you, you know, the best look at how the beam changes over your distance. Um, if you start too far away, you might be, you might not have a good look at that. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my air on and I'm going to have it on fairly high for this, um, just because I don't want any smoke up on my nozzle. I don't have my lid closed, so fume extraction isn't the best. Okay, so now back to light burn. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line. And that can be um, just four inches is lots. Just a line, just a straight line. Uh, I'm going to start on the left. It's just, it's just a line. Uh, I'm going to run... 150 millimeters a second, 15% power, uh, nothing really special about this toolpath or this layer, really nothing to it. So I can hit start and we can see that run on the laser. So it's a pretty quick job, it goes quite fast, nothing really to it. And what you see is, as I mentioned, we get that, that kind of hourglass shape in, in our line. Now what we want to do is we want to bring our head over. And we kind of want to try to gauge, you know, the narrowest spot on that line, which to me is kind of where those two marks are, right in there. And you, once, you're, once you're right over top of it, you can see exactly where it's at. So for me, it's going to be right about there. And because it's a ramp, um, 
you know, you do have some leeway in, in how that measures up. Then you can take, you know, some something like, like this tool here. Um, I've already got notches and marks on there. So I, I know what this is going to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy or whatever ruler you may have, and you're going to measure at that center spot, you know, what your height is. And for me, mine ends up being, um, what, 12 and a half millimeters from, from my nozzle to my workpiece. And that gives me my, my best cut when I'm, when I'm working with this particular lens. There are gauges that you can get um, files from somebody like Lens Digital, like these. Um, these are 3D printed. There are versions that are laser cut. Um, and typically they'll, they'll have engraved numbers on top of this board. The problem to me is that relies on you either A, having a 3D printer to do this, um, or B, being in focus or almost in focus to be able to cut and engrave these, these little rulers that go on top. Um, th the method that I use, the way I do it, it's pretty straightforward. You don't need anything other than a block and a, a, you know, a piece of flat material to engrave on and then a ruler, something to measure with. Um, once you get your measurement right, you can make any kind of gauge you want and go from there. Um, so I hope this, this is helpful. Um, if you have any comments, let me know. And have a good day.